Yo, what's up, everyone? How are y'all doing? Hello, <laughs> hello. Fuck. Uh, welcome to the Out of Fluff podcast with, of course, me, your host, Fluff. You can call me Graham. Doesn't really fucking matter. I probably say different names all the fucking time. I hope that y'all are doing pretty good, pretty well today. Shit. It's starting to get fucking. I want to keep this closer. I'm gonna keep this closer. Dude, it's getting fucking hot. All right. I know it's like about to be May. Actually, I was supposed to end up making this podcast video way earlier, but um spring break happened. Fucking uh some stuff with school. I was mainly focused more on school, trying to get that shit done. Uh there's some other things too that happen, but basically, I'm not gonna talk about that yet. I'm gonna wait until later on. But I've just been fucking busy, and I I recorded one, but it turned out that I felt like I was ranting too much, and I'm like, man, I don't want to fucking. I wouldn't listen to a podcast where they're just ranting the whole time. Like, nah, dude, I ain't fucking doing that, dude. Fuck that shit. So I may have like a little bit of ranting throughout the topics that I'm gonna fucking talk about uh with y'all, but oh damn. But you know, just sit back, relax, enjoy, I guess, just hearing me say some stupid things and we're gonna keep it rolling, bro. Uh well another thing too before we fully get started. I'm about to buy me another mic. So there's going to be times to where I'm going to try to schedule to have a guest on with me. So it's not just me talking. Yeah. So, yeah. But first, I got to buy that mic. That's probably going to be like a good, probably like 100, 150. It's a lot of money spending, bro. A lot of money spending. <laughs> bro. But I nigga got a fridge and I got a stove. So... Let's go. Finally, this month, earlier in the beginning of this month, I got a I got a fridge and a stove. Dude, honestly, the all right, first the fridge is lit as fuck. I don't know if any of y'all really care, but for me, I like nice looking fridges. Nothing that's too crazy. This was kind of crazy off of the fact that there's like a whole beverage center. So me, whenever I'm lit, I don't have to open up the whole fucking like door i could just open up that little door just whoop, and then skedaddle on way back over here to, to my little space but yeah man it's pretty nice uh the fridge also fucking i do i've been drinking way more water if you don't have a fridge that like dispense water i feel like you're not gonna drink as much water as like you would with a fridge with water you get what i mean i feel like that made sense but my fridge got water bitches fuck y'all Y'all fucking broke bitches with no fucking water in your fridge. Nah, man, I can't. I'm sorry. Dude, I've been struggling for like, I don't know how many years. If It feels like it's been way too long since I had a fridge that can make ice and also give me water. It's, it's just, it's great. <laughs> it is great. And the fridge also has like, regular cubed ice and then it has like the mini cubes so yeah that's pretty nice and then the the stove is pretty cool too it has like an air fryer setting um i tried out the fucking timer because i made some ribs and i was like i need to actually time these bitches quick note if you make ribs in the oven um after you season it and shit wrap it in aluminum foil and fucking put the bitch in the oven uh i personally put it with the actual like with it being like on the face down not like having it standing up but put it face down and i just have that bitch there for like put it on 275 put it in there for two hours and 15 minutes then after that take that bitch out let it rest. Then after it rest for 10 minutes, I I put more seasoning and then I put barbecue sauce. 
and then you could put it in the oven to broil or back at that same temperature if you broil it just know uh you want to put it for about five or ten minutes uh if you fucking put it back in his oven with the same temp uh put it in there for about like 20 minutes i would say because you want that fucking you want that barbecue sauce to be basically cooked on there I just with a quick little fucking thing, but yeah, no, my stove is lit as fuck. Hmm. But yeah. Two fucking women. And you go to the dentist. That shit crazy. Every time I suck, it feels like I'm getting punched in the mouth. But yeah, nigga need to go to the dentist. Fuck. But other than that, I guess let's go ahead and get actually fucking talking about shit. Mm. But, um, first things first, of course, this is the month of fucking April 2024, a.k.a. the month of fucking rat beef, where apparently everybody has, like, a fucking problem with everybody. Apparently, like, now or whatever. I'm not gonna give my whole fucking spill on it if you know about it already cool whatever if you don't then i don't know where the fuck you've been for i don't know like how long because it's it's been a month and you you just don't have social media at that point if you don't know what's happening or you you're not your social media isn't in the space of like rap and hip-hop and music and shit so just know first things first um i have now since this rap beef has happened, I turned Drake off of my Spotify until he corrects himself. So I'm not a big fan of the whole AI use I get for his being like creative and disrespectful. But the problem is, is that that he's he was just able to do that for Snoop's voice and Snoop is still alive. It's kind of different for Tupac, but honestly, there needs to be some type of fucking copy like right rules to where you can't just use anybody's voice because honestly that means i can end up using uh i can make a song and then make an ai like verse of drake for that song and then be able to put it out there for people to hear that's essentially how that how i see that i'm not a fan of that i don't care if it's a rat beef or whatever the fuck you are you're going out of bounds i don't like that so Drake is currently in uh timeout for me. Uh I wouldn't say indefinite, like little dirt, but Drake is definitely in timeout. So I'll probably unlock that motherfucker after uh I don't know, probably like a year or two. Dep- it depends on like what what he ends up doing. But right now he's in timeout. Uh for for those these the the problem isn't really even Drake. It's just more along the lines that these Drake stands are more of the problem. Where, like, you got... What the fuck is his name? DJ Academics. Dude, fucking... That man has... He has to have, like, one of the world's most lubious, slippery fucking lubes that he just... He just constantly... Hit, he just has. He I think he has to, like, just make them, I think. That's just his body just makes that lube just for whenever he starts talking about Drake. It just automatically it's just lube that just drips out of him. For the the amount of like dick writing that this man has been doing for Drake. It's crazy. Um what else about this thing? Uh Kendrick. Uh really the only thing is is that take your time. Dude Drake Drake took three fucking weeks, nigga. You could take three weeks as well. I I don't really give a fuck. Honestly, and if you're using this, all this for a rollout on an album, that album better be fire as fuck. And what else? Um, Lupe Fiasco, shut your bitch ass up, nigga. You haven't made anything since Lasers. I key. I'm gonna treat you how Jay Z treated uh was his face nigga you haven't made shit since laser you're irrelevant right now i don't even know why he says something oh the funny one is fucking all right there's a funny one and then there's an actual like 
this. The funny one, is, I think, is Kid Cudi must have been tripping off of some shit. I want to know what what drugs basically Kid Cudi takes because I don't. Why did he start trying to go after fucking Donald Glover? I thought that was crazy, and then fucking them Donald Glover is just like, bro, we can talk this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the, the white end of came out like bro let me get a hug come on we don't have to do this there is no reason to do this <laughs> and i don't know what the fuck i guess they ended up really talking or or some shit like that and later on uh, kid cuddy saying that he's cool so kid cuddy could possibly even be on uh childish gambino's next album or his last album whichever one comes first or not really comes first but whichever one I he chooses to put them on. I can see that happening. And honestly, uh, fucking uh, Kid Cudi and Chadwick Gambino song would kind of go hard. That's just me personally. That's just me. Now nah, it's getting hot, bro. My fucking shirt. I gotta start wearing shirts, but my fucking my titties keep catching my shirt like this sometimes, and I'm like, fuck. But. Anyways, that's pretty cool. And then there's the there's the actual diss, because what this whole Drake, J Cole, Kendrick doesn't really do shit compared to what the fuck Chris Brown done did to Quavo. Chris Brown took notes from Fifty Cent and said, "Coach, I shall do one even better for you, bro." Man, diss the fuck out of Quavo. Quavo responded. He should have never responded. He should have took that shit right the fuck back. Put it, kept it in the drafts. Because it wasn't touching anywhere near fucking Chris Brown's diss. I tell he quit. And then Quavo had a, like, what's today's date? The 29th. So y'all know Quavo had a fucking, uh, whatchamacallit. He had a concert in Connecticut and Chris Brown ended up buying like majority of the tickets, bro. <laughs> so there was barely anybody actually there. Oh, dog. That's a, that's another, that's like 50 cent petty right here. Chris Brown took it like to right here. Honestly, at this point, 50 cent, I feel disrespected and I feel like you can't let Chris Brown just out petty you like so I don't know what you're going to do about that. But me, I personally wouldn't take that. Just saying. But yeah, I think everybody on TikTok has already TikTok, Twitter. They so many people have been arguing about this whole fucking rap beef that's been happening that you can clearly see of like sides and shit. Um. I, I just want to go ahead and point out the hypocrite of uh, motherfuckers. Because a lot of these people talking about hip hop is back and stuff like that. Their favorite artist at the time was like Playboy Cardi or some shit. A lot of motherfuckers don't know what hip hop is. Hip hop has always been here. Um, So all these motherfuckers saying that hip hop is back. Crazy. Jid has been here. smino has been here. Saba has been here. Tyler, the creator, has been doing wonderful fucking work. Fucking. I see main artists, people that y'all trying to always only listen to when y'all motherfuckers don't know how to expand. Like, we about to have a fucking another A Boogie with a Hoodie album lit. Like, come on. Come on now. But either way, we need another. Um, I feel like you got to have a, a album that's kind of like Killer Mike's almost like every year. If you haven't heard Killer Mike's last album, I suggest that y'all go ahead and listen to that last album because really good. I feel like we just need to basically just keep having that. Uh, I think that's really it for like the rap beef i i was going to explain like the whole thing because that's what i did in the last one and that took up to like 30 minutes of me just explaining that whole bitch but i don't really want to explain it 
Um, what was the other rant bullshit that I was talking about in that, in the one that I recorded, but kind of forgot. Um, it was dealing with something with gaming. Oh, two things. One, number one, um, I don't, I don't, I forgot who, who the fuck it was. I think it was, I wasn't sure if it was Sony or whatever. Basically, there there's gaming companies now that are trying to implement to where uh no i think it was playstation they're trying to implement to where people can actually skip over certain parts of games i'm guessing like if it's too hard for them and then they don't want to do that part of the game then they can skip like that part which i think is fucking mind-blowing crazy to me because it's like the game is meant to challenge you and you have a good time you know, all at the same time, but motherfuckers is going to be able to just skip part of the game. So you're going to pay $70 for a game that's like an RPG. Say if you got like a, like a new God of War and you're like, you're able to fucking skip parts of that God of War. Or like if you're able to skip a fucking boss, crazy, dude, no fucking way. You pay seventy dollars to be able to skip shit in the game, dude. Fuck that. Play, play everything of the game, dude. Res- respect the fucking game, and like you know, if you're gonna get it, play it. Don't like skip parts of it because that shit is hard, nigga. What? That's crazy. And we don't really have games that have like crazy sexual content, so you can't say like, "Oh, I'm skipping this because I don't want to see the sexual content." But the main purpose is basically people are going to be giving up on actually playing the game, which I think is fucking stupid. That was one thing I think is stupid. Um, Number two, which is a clear um, F you to Nintendo, because Nintendo basically is saying uh, F you to everybody. They're on this wave where it's like, Gamers should be comfortable of uh, not actually owning a game, but basically you using like the services or license or whatever the fuck. Um, fuck Nintendo because they took off. So th- what, what was it? The, the story was like basically this dad got mad and made a video because fucking Nintendo took uh, Animal Crossing that his daughter was playing out of like Nintendo so his daughter can't play Animal Crossing which I find is crazy because it's Animal Crossing most people just play that bitch solo dolo you getting rid of single player games or people that have that they that they know for a fact more people are just playing solo like for a single player it's crazy bro you like I can I can understand the fact of like people saying for companies not wanting to say like you know people own a game but you taking off a game that's mainly single player or like a role playing game just not it doesn't make sense whatsoever like your 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 library is not getting to the point to where you need to start taking off games like it, and there shouldn't even be a point to where you're taking off any games for anybody. Like that, that shit makes that, that makes no sense. Unless it's like a live service game to where you need other players to play it. Like Overwatch, you would need other players to play Overwatch. So if nobody played Overwatch, then the servers would of course go fucking down. So that makes sense. And if you just want to get it off your platform completely, and it's like you know this is. This is it. You can't play the game no more. Why would you want to be able to get in it? That makes sense. But Animal Crossing, bro, where you're building a village or a town or city or whatever the fuck. Nah, bro. That's that's out of pocket. That's crazy. Nintendo, you're wild, but you've always been a shitty company. Let's be honest. You keep repeating the same type of games and then keeping them there for $70 for like decades. Like, I think fucking, like, uh, Breath of the Wild is still, like, 60 fucking dollars, but it's been out 
for elemental p years like bro get the fuck out of here like nintendo fuck you and then plus you having a problem with power world when people were literally telling you like this is kind of what they wanted from a pokemon game and you're you're mad because somebody else decided to make that game crazy bro that's pretty crazy nintendo you're wild we don't care if the characters kind of look like them or whatever that's still wild and it's art so i don't know how to fuck your copyright in something that looks like a different color than what the fuck it is like you don't you don't get the copyright the style of it that's weird like how could, I, how could I put it? Like, you could copyright, like, they could copyright Tony the Tiger, but if you change the orange on him to blue and you call him, like, Jeff the Tiger, then they can't do anything about that. That's basically what it is. Because now that's that's your own fucking, like, now that it's, it's not exactly theirs, then it's your own shit. That's really all that it is. And people can say it's like copying or whatever. You can get, you know, that hit from like regular people talking like, oh, that's copyright. Like you copy them. But when it comes down to like document wise, then you can always fight that shit and say like, no, this is like my tiger. Just because it looks like him doesn't mean that it is him. So. Any any fucking ways. I mean, you might Reese's pieces. I don't know how the fuck I got there. But, yeah. Fuck Nintendo. IT. Mm. And honestly, um, I think it was Ubisoft that also said that same bullshit as well, too. Of players need to get used to, uh, uh, like, not owning games and shit like that. Like, bro. Get the fuck out of here. That's just crazy. That's just crazy as fuck. But no worries. No worries. I got plans. I got shit that I got going on. I ain't gonna speak it into existence right now, but just know what's happening. Oh, starting actually on my birthday, which is in six seven days it's on the fifth but today's the 29th so yeah my birthday's on may 5th mm. am i probably gonna have a podcast video for that day no <laughs> probably not i'm probably not gonna do it until it's closer to memorial day something like that then i can just tell you about my birthday which honestly man i don't really do do shit for my birthday i think like growing up I was one of those kids that didn't really have birthdays. Like I didn't really, I didn't grow up and have birthday parties. I grew up and had cookouts, but in a birthday party, the only reason why I'm saying it's not a birthday party is off the simple fact that I didn't get no fucking presents on my birthday for I don't know how many years. Like I grew up like, some sometimes I'll get presents, but one year, the only thing that somebody gave me, I think, was my neighbor that was across the street, and they they was going to the store and they realized it was my birthday and they asked me what I wanted from the store and I said gummy bears. So one there was one birthday where I just legit only got gummy bears and called it a good fucking day, which is crazy, but. Nah, man, a lot of a lot of my birthdays, I didn't really get presents like that wasn't that wasn't the way for for me as I was growing. up. So we had like cookouts, there'd be like little like barbecues, it will be like on the weekend. We wouldn't do it like during the week or anything like that. I think like there was like one or two times like while in like, you know, elementary school, like, you know, you have like your your mom or like your dad would come in and have like cupcakes and stuff for like the whole class 
for like lunch and stuff like that because it's like your birthday. Yeah, my mom only did that about like once. <laughs> I can only recall like one time that she did that. But no, I didn't really get much much gifts. I got a lot of gifts on Christmas. Christmas is where I got gifts. That's why I didn't really care much for my birthday because I didn't even like ask for anything on my birthdays a good amount of times because I just knew that I wasn't going to get shit. So I was like, ain't no point asking, fuck it, whatever. Run me Christmas. Hey, but those Christmases, though, also as well, I think it was like, I'd say probably like sophomore year, sophomore year or junior year, or even probably like senior year. I don't remember my senior year that much for Christmas. I remember like a good amount of my, uh, my, what you call it, my, for my high school years, I didn't really get shit, but like clothes, like I got like some like stuff like, oh, I think one year, junior year, I got clothes while everybody was like uh, undoing everything. And then after the clothes, I was like, cool. But then my mom told me to go to the back. So I got a PS4. So I got a PS4 uh, that year, but. Honestly, I didn't really get much of anything else from there. Shit. I think even nowadays, I just mainly even get, like, games. Like, my girl bought me a pair of shoes. I haven't opened them up yet. But I always never really been a birthday person. I don't, I don't know for other people, like, how y'all grew up celebrating y'all birthdays. But, yeah, got a birthday coming up next Sunday. Ooh, I ain't gonna do shit. I'm gonna go to this fucking uh, what you call it though? This little barbecue place called Craft House, Craft whatever. Um, some shit that's in uh Arcadia. That's next to the cheesecake at that mall. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna fuck up some motherfucking. I like barbecue food, so I'm gonna fuck up some fucking barbecue food. Well, as y'all can tell, I gave like a whole fucking, not a recipe, but a quick how to do for making ribs in the oven earlier. So, and honestly, I get a lot of compliments on my fucking food too. Sometimes I would just be making it for the first time and not say anything, but it'd be coming out busting. Maybe some good food. Oh, man. But. I think that was the main topics. I'm just not remembering where I was kind of doing. I guess that's like the main topics, though, for what I did for that last podcast. Um, Yeah, just like you as as you could tell for those two topics are probably like more rant. So it wasn't even like funny or anything they were just more along the lines of what the fuck how the fuck why the fuck why is there uh what the fuck that that type of that that was that was that type of ranting and shit so fuck that because i didn't i didn't even it i i wasn't even fucking on any type of level i was on cloud zero Bitch, I was swimming in water for how sober I was. Good lord. But I got my fucking handy dandy goddamn motherfucking whiteboard. We about to use this bitch. On GDE. Because really what I want to talk about is motherfucking Anime, anime, top five motherfucking animes. And now this, I'm gonna have to say, top five more along the lines of, I for me. And then afterwards, I'm gonna give some to recommend to y'all motherfuckers. So my top five anime. First things first, 
Um, if you haven't watched it by now, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. Uh, but uh, I think it should definitely be in everybody's at least top ten. It's a really great fucking anime. Y'all can probably already guess what the fucking anime is going to be. And of course, you're correct. It is Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Full Metal. Now, reason why this bitch is in my top five, because this shit had me in middle school actually wanting to learn about fucking chemistry and alchemy and shit like that and i wasn't even wanting to try to like you know see if oh like you know if i can really make gold i just wanted to see what the fuck is really alchemy i even became like an alchemist in fucking uh final fantasy online for a little bit and then i went back to uh gathering because i was poor But yeah, Brotherhood. Not sure if y'all can see my handwriting, but I'm looking at it through the fucking computer screen and that shit looks like ass. Hmm. Oh, well. One, two. Second anime is actually a fucking isekai. And I personally like it. Off of the simple fact that it felt like it was a little bit different. And it felt like it was bringing people together and then they can just end up fucking, fucking pissing them off and shit. But I think some people, um, I don't know. I don't know. Some people don't like it for some reason. I think it's just because it isn't isekai. I personally like it. I think it's one of the best isekai. And I'm gonna have to go ahead and say it's slime. Reincarnated as a slime. We're just gonna put slime because I'm not I'm not spelling reincarnated right now. Because what the fuck? So I'm putting slime. Really fucking good. Good fucking story. Everything makes sense of how they're fucking doing it. I personally like it. Number three. <coughs> Goddamn. <coughs> um, this one is an Adult Swim classic, bro. Y'all can probably guess from there. Um, Overwatch just recently did a motherfucking collab with it. And going off of those two hints, a lot of people already fucking know what it is. But uh, last hint. Cowboy motherfucking bebop. Great fucking show. Really great fucking show. Um, if you haven't watched Cowboy Bebop yet, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. I'm actually gonna recommend a show that's Kind of like more of a funnier Cowboy Bebop. And it's kind of old. But you get, you'll get you see when I get there. But Cowboy Bebop is definitely on the list for top five. And honestly, this isn't in no particular order. This is just the animes that I fucking like. Um, Moving this place up into my top five, though, is a more recent fucking anime. And since I've been more of like gaming and stuff and then... uh. I'm eventually trying to start my own gaming studio and, of course, make it enough money to where the homies can actually work for me in the studio, which is the reason why y'all motherfuckers need to actually kind of, you know, respond, bitches, to my shit. That's if y'all actually end up wanting to, like, work in my gaming studio or not. But that's on y'all. Back to everybody else. This is a fucking, it's about this kid being a trash gamer, going into this game that's actually a really fucking good game, and a trash gamer is just basically a person who mainly plays, like, games that are just ass. But, from that whole example, I already explained basically what the anime is about. 
Shangri-La Frontier. My goodness. Is this a fucking good anime? This is a motherfucking good A boy. Really fucking good. They just got uh, confirmed for another 25 or 26 episodes starting this fall, this year, fall 2024. It's a banger. Kind of mad that I can't really read the manga because you have to go through like bullshit. So that um no I'm not putting one piece in here. One piece would definitely be in the top five. But I'm just letting y'all know right now I don't want to put any of the big three in here. So that's why I'm leaving one piece out. But one piece would definitely be in here at number five. So I'm giving y'all number six. So, and I know for some of y'all are going to be like, yeah, but you know, it's fucking, it's top five and blah, blah, blah. I just don't want to add big three. So many people talk about the big three all the time. And the moment that you say that one of them is in your top five for favorite, then they automatically think you're just that fan and that you hate the other two. And I'm not dealing with that bullshit. But to give more credit to the homie Vinland Saga Vinland Saga is a really good fucking anime it's a really good fucking story um if you're looking for something that is more mature go with Vinland Saga just cause you've seen clips of Vinland Saga for fight scenes does not mean it's like some like shonen like they just fight and it's just Vikings fighting. It's not that. It's way deeper than that. It's it's a more mature anime. But yeah, I had to say like those five. Oh well, I'll I'll add one piece in here. I just don't want to be. I just don't want to deal with any people that are like fucking oh. Oh, you're a One Piece fan. Oh, and you're you're supposed to be like this whole type of person or whatever the fuck, dude. People that are like that are fucking weird. Let's be honest. We need to start classifying people as like weird. Like, bro, chill the fuck out. But there's no for, I guess, top six. Mm. 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 Sorry, that recent species just hit a little different. She was busting. All right. Just know, all right, for top six, since I wrote six, top six fucking animes for me. This is my top six. I don't know why the fuck is six, but. Full Metal Alchemist, Slime, Cowboy Bebop, Vinland Saga, Shangri-La Frontier, and One Piece. This is not in no specific order, because I'm not ordering shit. Say no fucking menu. Those are my top six animes. Yeah. Now, for animes that I recommend to people. me erase hold on it's gonna take me a good minute it's a lot to erase oh this eraser is ass oh this is just complete ass i'm just gonna use my hand oh that looks so much cleaner this will actually be five okay now Top five animes I do recommend. Um, honestly, Shangri La Frontier is definitely going to be on here. It's really good. Uh, for any more newer people that is looking for an anime that has pretty good visuals, pretty good animation, and has a 
pretty decent story with it as well. I will recommend Shangri-La Frontier. Uh, another one that I do recommend for uh, newer people that are coming into play is honestly you. I wouldn't say pick. Hmm, how can I put it? I feel like for any any new people that are getting into anime and say like you've already watched you already watched one of the big three, okay? And it's probably gonna be fucking Naruto. But if you watched one of the big three already, I would recommend and and if you want something that's in English, if you haven't watched it yet, Hunter Hunter. Okay. Hunter Hunter is really good. It's honestly one of the best English dubbed, in my opinion. Uh, I will go from, from Hunter Hunter and then you can kind of go from there, which is probably some show that's on Netflix because that's probably where you're going to end up watching Hunter Hunter anyways is on Netflix. But those two, I really like those two. Um, I think they're pretty good for people that are starting to get off into anime. Uh, for those that are looking more along the lines for, I guess you have to put a fucking one that has a lot of fights and shit like that. Um, I guess you could put JJK. J JJK is pretty good. I uh, I haven't actually fully watched uh the second season, but I already know what's happened and like the manga and everything. So I'm just kind of waiting for it to build up. Um, so I would say that. Not gonna get into the story wise or anything like that. Sorry, I had a fucking burp. Not gonna get into the story or anything like that because I don't want to spoil it or anything but just know there the combat is actually really good it's more refreshing you can feel it it makes you it makes you feel like you can feel it so it's pretty cool um another show that i will recommend is the one that i was talking about before that's kind of like uh cowboy bebop but funny and stuff like that or it gives like the same similar vibes to Cowboy Bebop, but pretty funny. Uh, Space Dandy. Space Dandy was pretty good. I thought it was hilarious. Definitely watch it. English dub. So yeah. And I want to just go ahead and recommend because I feel like more people should watch more sports animes. I don't know why people sleep on sports animes are actually pretty good. Uh, sports animes can also get you into watching more of like rom-coms and stuff like that as well, too, because there is some type of like there's always like some type of romance in it somewhere or like some type of comedy that's in it in sports animes. Uh, sports animes just do a really good job and we all already know the sport anyways. So it's just an upgraded effect. And stuff like that of just the sports. That's all that is. Uh, whenever people start looking at it like that, it, sports anime has become a whole lot better. So, for saying that, I thought about this because I debated. I was like, maybe I should, like, you know, try to get more people to watch, like, Fall Out. Or maybe I should say, like, you know, Blue Lock because of, like, the animations and stuff like that. But honestly, when it comes down to it, if it's going to be like for sports, anime, just like general, Kirk on a basket is honestly the best way to go. I think I spelled this wrong. Like Kirk on a basket or Kirk on basketball. Really good anime. <coughs> anime. You have to remember that uh, it's an anime. Nothing crazy. Honorable mention, 
I, I do want to say this right quick. Honorable mention. Um, you have to, bro. So you don't. I'm not gonna say you have to, because again, I don't want to be put in this category. But if you're looking for something that is a very deep story, has a whole bunch of world building, a whole bunch of character development and everything like that, then I would recommend One Piece. But I'm only recommending that if you want to see more characters develop. If you like to like watch the anime for the story and you want to be like, you want to dive like into the story and get fully deep into it to where there's questions that you have that like other people have as well. And it just hasn't been answered yet because he's already proven that he has answered other questions as well for people. Then I'll have to say one piece. You don't have to watch it. Driver Pete, you do not have to watch it. This is still just an honorable mention for rec for recommendations. And for people that say, oh, One Piece is just so long and everything, blah, blah, blah. Like, if you're complaining about length, let's be honest. If you watch Naruto, that's a lot of episodes. If you watch all the episodes for Dragon Ball, that's a lot of episodes. The only one that doesn't have a lot of episodes is Bleach. But it's like, you're, you're doing the same thing but just like in in different shows now i will say if you're saying like there's a pacing problem of course yeah there is a pacing problem everybody knows but if you look at how many chapters is out right now and where the anime is at right now compared to the chapters they're fucking close as fuck so the anime definitely has to do like some pacing shit it just makes sense. But if you're just saying that it's too many episodes, dog, you're tripping. Like if if you for one watched all the episodes of Grey's Anatomy and you say one piece is long, I don't know who I don't know what the fuck you're smoking, but that's crazy. If you watched all the episodes of Game of Thrones and you say one piece is long, you're you you're crazy too, bro. Those are hour long episodes and there's like nine seasons. And I think there's supposed to be like fucking, they say there's like 10 episodes per season, bro. That's 90 hours. That's a lot of episodes, bro. Granted, it's nothing compared to like one piece, of course, but you basically proven that you can sit through and just be in fully involved into a story. Oh, if you watch Walking Dead and you complain about any fucking anime, any anime having too many episodes, but you watched all of Walking Dead, you're a fucking hypocrite. And you don't like good shit. I just want to go ahead and point that out. Dude, y'all are fucking insane. I think I see fucking one person talking about it. Or I don't fucking know. But that shit was crazy and i thought it was crazy or me probably just thinking about it and thought it was fucking crazy that somebody would even say some shit like that that I've, I've watched the walking dead but i won't i won't watch long animes get the fuck out of here that is why see see what i'm talking about fucking goddamn titty sucking in my fucking shirt and shit <laughs> so i don't want to lean back But yeah, no, nah, dude, that's fucking, that's insane. But yeah, no, nah, this is my top fucking recommended. Of course, One Piece is going to be an honorable mention. Can y'all read that? Well, I'll just read it out for y'all. First one, Shangri-La Frontier. Of course, Shangri-La Frontier, banger. Hunter Hunter is a classic banger. JJK, class. Well, I wouldn't say it's a classic, but it is for more newer age 
motherfuckers that don't like older uh, animes but want to see like more fighting and people like killing each other jjk space dandy if you're looking for a really good fucking laugh there you go i'm just gonna fucking recommend a sports anime people will start watching sports anime more they're good y'all are tripping if y'all if y'all don't like sports anime I'm like, oh, it's just so boring and blah blah blah, dude. Take take yourself back to Shonen. Take yourself back to Battle Shonen, bro. Cause, yeah, you're you're not convincing me. You're not convincing me, bro. And you can't say that like, oh, you know, I like to watch like other like, I like to watch rom coms and stuff like that. But like fucking sports animes, no. Like, it, it'll make sense if you don't know how to play the sport, or if you don't know the sport at all. <coughs> and you're just confused. But the fact that there is, like, sports out there, like baseball, like, you can fully understand baseball. Or basketball. Like, if you know the rules of basketball, then Kirk on a basket should be, like, a hell of a good watch for you. I don't really I don't know. Maybe I just might be tripping. But, mm. Mm, mm. these Reese's pieces are fucking good, bro. I haven't had these bitches in a minute. I usually don't eat like chocolate candies. I'm more of a gummy person. Like I like fucking gummy worms, gummy bears. Yeah, that's mainly just it. That's mainly like those two. Some of them other gummies don't be don't be hitting right. But these Reese's pieces though. You should serve a banger. Hmm. But I don't want to end this off for me actually talking about uh of uh what you call it? I just a little gaming studio that I'm making. I'm not going to say the name or anything, but my main goal is like, I'm gonna have different phases, right? So these phases is until basically I get like a good amount of money. I'm just going to be, uh, I'm going to be buying, uh, what you call it. <laughs> I'm going to be buying pre-made already games or ready to publish games. Using that to get AdSense mainly. Um, I might just go in and like change some stuff around or whatever or like hire basically hire a developer to change some stuff around for me like whatever the fuck that i want to change and then at the same time i'm gonna be practicing on working on like for me being like a game designer mainly dealing with like levels and i'm gonna try to see if i can do like balancing stuff as well so then i can be able to get into Whenever I want to make my own a game, then I can be able to get into more of like the balancing aspects and like level structures and shit like that. Because I I have like a um, because like I can I can do like a story, but the problem is is like I can't actually write out a story. Like I can create plots and everything that can make it into a good story, but I can't do like dialogue and writing like good settings and stuff like that. So. I'm gonna end up probably hiring somebody else to end up doing like my lore aspect for it. I was saying like, you know, basically like how the players is gonna be, but it's gonna be guided. So I'm gonna give like a guidance for it. But then, yeah, I wanna do mainly that. And then also I'm gonna have to probably hire somebody for um, art, art wise, whether I have the game to be 2D or 3D which depends on how much money that I have at the time would also depend on what the fuck I would end up making the game like, which high, high chance is probably going to be fucking 2D. Probably be like a little 2D platform or something like uh, Hollow, Hollow Knight or something. Something along the lines like that. Boots, boots, my boy. Calm down. You scratching the fuck out of yourself, man. Calm it down, man. Calm it down. Shit. Yeah. All I heard was a fucking motherfucker trying to eat concrete or some shit. Uh, stop, man. What the fuck? 
calm down, Lewis, calm down. Crazy. So now, now you're on the other side of your face, bro. What? Move. Lay down, man. Lay down. Go lay down. That's, that's wild, bro. He's like, that. It's crazy. But no, back to what I was saying. But yeah, it'll probably end up being uh something along the lines that's probably like two D. Uh, um, unless I can be able to find a person that would actually want to help work on a game, as well. That'd be cool. And then like I don't have to, I wouldn't have to like pay them that much. But honestly, you know, I would still end up paying the person. But yeah, no, I would end up having it set up kind of like that. And that would be like all the way until I get up to like making that first game, it would be like my phase one. But just basically me learning more of game designing as I'm buying other games and putting them out in the store. And then I'm gonna have it going basically like that. Until I can get to the point to where I can make a game. And then hopefully. By the time, like I already made a couple of games then I have more money coming in to where I can be able to actually hire like employees because I'm going to actually make like an LLC for the shit and everything like that. So I'm going to have like a. Like I'm actually have like a employee number bullshit for it. I'm going to have even like a bank account for it. Try to hopefully. Try to see if I can be able to get a loan from the bank. But I feel like that will also have to be proven that I can even be able to make money up first before even trying to think about getting a fucking loan. So I probably wouldn't even try to get a loan until after, until probably like the first or the second game, depending. I feel like I would have to make the first game completely and then basically have that point to prove to the bank that I can be able to get a loan through them because I feel like banks giving loans to for like game development is not really there I feel like there's like a problem with it but this is just all me having like a feeling I don't know exactly how to fuck like the banks are going to work for game development and stuff like that because I I want to keep it to where like we're not having we're not going after other people for like crowds and stuff like that. I try to do like crowdfunding because I'd rather have it to where like, you know, I'm spending like the game will just automatically be like kind of completed. Like, of course, there'll be like devlogs if you end up like following along. But there'll be nothing to where it's like people would try to like crowdfund it and put money just for that. But you never know. Probably with the devlogs, I'll probably start up a Patreon if they want to more support like the fucking company. And then through the Patreon, I'll probably have private, like closed and private, like fucking uh, alphas and beta tests and stuff like that. So I'll probably end up doing that and not try to just go on like Kickstart or some shit like that for the game. Because I'll just be having devlog devlogs for actually like the, the, the different games and stuff. So it'll be it'll be something along the lines like that. But yeah, man, I'm gonna have it set. I'm gonna have it set up. Uh probably I'm I'm gonna depending on where my money is at, I'm gonna go ahead and probably just end up starting starting this shit out and getting the LLC for my birthday. Basically give that as a birthday gift to myself. And once I get that LLC started, then that's like that's a wrap. So, I mean, that's what the fuck I'm going to be doing as well as, you know, of course, like the podcast and school. But other than that, fuck yeah, boy. But I'm not going to give out any like name information or shit on it until after I've gone through and I've made it like more successful and I'm actually getting like, you know, money through it. Basically, that's all it really is. But other than that, that's really about it, man. I hope that y'all been staying blessed. It's been all good for y'all. Been pretty good for me. I really had no problems or anything like that. So, hey. But just remember, y'all stay blessed, of course.
Don't just keep doing more. Be more. Implement yourself. Make your name worth something. You can do as much as you want, but if you ain't have a name that's worth anything, you ain't gonna get nowhere. That's all it really is. Now you can get somewhere, but it'll be way harder. Way, way much harder. But other than that, I'm go ahead and take this last motherfucking hit. And y'all stay blessed. Have a wonderful fucking day. See you next time. Probably in about a couple <coughs> couple weeks. <coughs> couple weeks. Give me about like a couple weeks. <coughs> Damn. Peace. Cause this shit will fuck it.